Hello, it's good to have you join us again on Social Investment Focus, where we showcase all programs under the federal government's National Social Investment Program. I'm Shim Olagunju. You're welcome. Now, the conditional cash transfer targeted at the poor is a scheme that gives 5,000 naira a month to some of the poorest across the country. The conditional cash transfer in particular looks at identifying the poorest and the most vulnerable of our households around the country. So what we do is look at the poorest local government because uh, we have budgetary constraints, we can only do a third of each state. Jamfani, <laughs> shop The National Coordinator of the National Social Safety Net's Coordinating Office, Yoa Apera, speaks on how statistics are generated for the program and the broad use they could be put to. So the National uh, Social Safety Net uh, programs are uh, the federal government uh, initiatives uh, supported by the World Bank credit targeted at alleviating poverty and focused primarily on the poor and vulnerable. These programs are the National Cash Transfer Program, the Youth Employment and Social Support Operations ESO, and the Community and Social Development Program CSDP and they are coordinated by the National Social Safety Net Coordinating Office, NASCO, which was established by the federal government in 2016 to coordinate the social safety nets programs that have been implemented, but also build what we call the National Social Register of the Poor and Vulnerable. Now, 
Now, the social register is an information gateway of potential eligible beneficiaries into a social intervention. And we establish this register through a combination of three targeting mechanisms. NASCO liaises with the various states and establishes a memorandum of understanding with the state. Once that memorandum of understanding is established or signed, the state government would, through a transparent process, deploy or, or post civil servants to man the office of the state coordinating office established under the planning ministry of every state under the supervision and management of the permanent secretary of the planning ministry. Now, once this is established, we use what we call the geographical mapping as a first targeting mechanism to establish the local governments that we will come into. Now, every local government in this country is ranked from the poor to the poorest by its poverty status, by through a very rigorous scientific method uh, by the Bureau of Statistics with some indi indices. Now, the, what we do is to start with the first 30 percent poorest local governments across the three senatorial districts of each of the states, and this is also where um, the efforts of the current administration. It's commendable in the sense that I have not had any interference from the state governors, from the president or the vice president, which my office sits directly under, to go to any state and go to a local government that they will decide. So each geopolitical uh, senatorial district of a state, the first 30% poorest local governments are picked. Once that is done and established, we go to the local government, the local government council, post local government civil servants into a team that we call the community-based targeting team. We train the team and the team goes straight to the community. Payment for, for every uh, beneficiary that is enrolled into the cash transfer program they have a three-year circle. Uh, so a poor home will be in that, that for that period. And then two to three years. And then um, we then exit or graduate. So there's a graduation program, the livelihood program that we are at the moment designing to pilot that will then help families graduate from this cash transfer. So the cash transfer to a poor home poor family will not go on in perpetuity. Every two, two years, we go back to the communities to update the social register. And so at that point, there are some families whose status have been elevated out of poverty that are no longer considered being poor in the context of the and, and understanding of the community. In that time, and as such instances, they are not or they are out of uh, poverty and they will no longer be in the social register. And of course, we all know that poverty could come upon a family either through man-made shocks or natural shocks. Natural shocks such as flood or drought could render a family poor. Or uh, man-made such as uh, communal cl uh, clashes, um, headers, farmer headers, crisis, uh, insurgency, ETC, could drop these people into poverty. And so when we go back to update, when the community identified them as poor, they are enrolled onto the register and they become part of that mix and they are open to any social intervention like the cash transfer. They target youths, unemployed youths, from poor homes for the interventions. So they will come to the social register and they will run the criteria used between 18 and 35 
for example, who are unemployed, who are from poor homes. And they are also in categories, those who are un uh, uneducated and those who are educated. And so they enrolled them onto the skills program, an apprentices program for those running the skills uh, acquisition program. And they matched them with um, um, established uh, businesses who trained them for a period of time and then give them a startup to go and establish the businesses of their own, the trade of their own. It also is used in the Northeast to relocate the IDPs that have been displaced through an incentive uh, relocation program, where when a family indicates or it wants to be relocated or is to be relocated in areas of peace, they give some cash incentives that helps the family back to its, the, the family's location and to establish. So they give a stipend for you to go back and re-establish yourself in your community. My name is Malaba. I'm Bama local government. I thank for this money. He's helped me our business. We are doing it. Ten thousand. Bukar Fadani, local government, local Damba, local Damba, you are sitting in Borno, sitting in Mirbury, Guadena. Alhamdulillah, Guadena, sitting, sitting, Baba Guadena, Baba Guadena, Guadena, Kushi. Baya, you do go ma, do go ma. It's time for us to take a break. Please stay with us. Are you aware? There are Nigerians in the rural communities who have never seen or held a thousand naira before in their lifetime. I never, I never hold four thousand like at once. I say for ten years. Now their stories are changing. Thanks to the conditional cash transfer initiative of the Muhammadu Buhari administration, targeted at the poorest of the poor in our nation. If I'm in my picking, go find firewood. Sometimes we sell and we be today. Go gather and we sell and for checking for here. With the help of the scheme, Madame Owua Oruma has been able to put up a better shelter for herself and her family from the previous tattered roof, which once exposed her and her children to the forces of nature day and night. Hi, <laughs> happy you. And now you say three months, you never know see. With the social intervention initiatives, the Muhammadu Buhari administration is touching lives of the most vulnerable citizens across the nooks and crannies of Nigeria. National Social Intervention Program. Changing lives, giving hope. Horukomini Uluwa Kemi Adidina. Adubo Biti Awayini Ele Kosi Anes. Wotri. Iba Akpa. East, ni ilue wa. Oji o kan lara amon ti o janfwa ni, ni no eto ti i jomba shi tan kwe ni cash transfer ni. Tori shi ti moun shi, i wu ni mou man shi. Shubonga ti mou ba a jomye mou ti bopwe e rokan wa. To ma un shi, i ma anfo i ru ni. Tori te le, gebi a mou ya wa man shi en shi, o do ni mou man lo, mou an lo e yi ekpe. Shubonga to ya, a wa an lo yi ekpe. Shubomba, 
o wa lo ra ero ero yen o wa je ki se yen ya ni ti pe won ta se ni wa ka ti meta si merin yen laarin iseju meru wu toju ni iseju ero yen ti se yi won ba ti mo nse tele tori wa lai to po igba ti ero yen de o ti je ki ma se pupo adugbo elepo ta wa yi ati awon agbegbi e won tun ma ra tori won ba na la le se sugbon gba ti ero yen ti de nisin mo na fade lati ma lo si oja bi oja maya oja okolo oja oba ati won pe oja kan ni towo bowo ni ibe iru wa so ani mo la fade lati ma gbe mi yen lo awon ta jo sise ati ma run so yen na tu ti je afade fa won na lati le ma ri ohun gbobukata ninu idile mi mo wa dupe lowo ijoba apapo ti won ru nu lati gbe isetun yi kale papa ti o je baba wa buari lo je olo adari won so awon ti won ba won sise na mo dupe lowo won tori teni kan ba je adari ti ori eni gidi ba sise awon ru afani yi ko le yo Starting your business shouldn't be a scare when you have the right support. Support that helps you grow. Support that helps you expand beyond borders. And this support extends to every single person on the value chain. all the way down to the leaders of the next generation at bank of industry we believe that supporting one is supporting all with a system set up to provide financial and advisory support for growing and large businesses to visit any of our offices website or social media pages to get in on how you can benefit from this today bank of industry transforming Nigeria's industrial sector. You're welcome back. You're still watching Social Investment Focus. ensure that as many petty traders as possible get uh, into this program it's a very important program for us and the simple reason is that petty traders are the largest number of people in our commercial value chain in Nigeria they are the largest number and we want to be able to touch them nobody really wants to give petty traders loans i mean banks don't want to do so but with the very innovative program developed uh, by the BOI by the bank of industry in uh, association with the social investment program of the federal government we now have an opportunity a real opportunity to reach out to a large number millions literally of petty traders in a systematic way in a credible way in a monitorable way a way by which we can monitor and evaluate what's going on and then they repay of course if you pay if you get your 10000 when you repay you get 15000 when you repay you get 20000 and you can go all the way up to 100000 Sunana is a secretary in a Arukolala Kalgama Tarava state 
lalle ko dai dubu biyar biyar da yake barewa ya taimake ni ta fannin sana'ata dama ban da kudin sai in karfe kuma ya taimake ni cin gaba cikin gidana biyan bukata na kuma na sai wadansu karafuna wadda ta taimaka mini sannan kuma ga karfin da na saya wayannan ya taimake ni ga gudumomi ga kayan zuga zugi da wadda ya taimaka mini ina farin ciki ina godiya da abun da baba buhari yayi bisa dubu bisa dubu dari bisa dari Allah ya saci shin gaba Allah ya kara masa girma Allah ya saki hayata ya samu mulki ya saki hayewa mu ji dadi tare da shi Allah hukuma jon da jam Allah lami da hukuma baba buhari shi gaba ya go yeso Allah lami da hukuma ya go yeso Allah barki dina mu Allah lami da bai dina mu mangudu mu woni har joni Allah bo wada tabbaci jire mako Allah hukumu alheri Allah hukumu alheri Allah taimake ki ya taimake mu Allah taimako mu taimako e Naban Buhari And that's our package on social investment focus for now. We hope you'd join us again. I'm Shim Olagunju. Thanks for watching.